Hi guys, so this week I spent quite a bit of time uh, repotting this huge Philanopsis orchid. This was one of the orchid I purchased a few weeks ago and uh, because it has some uh, new growth, I decided it was, it was a good time to repot. So I kind of took some video along the way, but it wasn't complete. Um, but I, I will just talk through my um, process as I go and show you how I get it done. So I have some melee bark issue with this orchid and I sprayed it um, and sprayed it and left it outside for a couple weeks. And a few days ago, I found melee bark again on the flowers. So because I've sprayed so much, I feel like the the blooms all dropped pretty prematurely, except this one. And I have two flower buds that's um, opening up. So um, I might just trim this off all together um, at this point and maybe just let the plant focus on growth. Um, so I finally decided that I'm just gonna get rid of the medium altogether and really clean it good. So um, once I peel away the liner, um, I did discover some rotted roots, which I had already removed for the most part. And the rest of the roots looked okay. And I don't know if I could get enough lighting. Maybe this will. So, That does seem like like there is a section here that seem to be rotting a bit. So, um, so what I did was I dumped the whole plant in a diluted five and twenty solution. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do, but I did it. So the area that seems rotted is this section. I see some rot on the roots, as well as the base of the plant, the black area. Um, so I think the 5 and 20 should help. And I, I'm i going to let this dry and just dab some cinnamon powder in this area. And hopefully that will take care of the problem. Okay, so I have decided that I'm going to cut the stem because I, I see like tiny bit of powdery stuff that look like it could be more millibug infestation so i don't want i want to get rid of the root problem and oftentimes the millibug just hides on the flower stem the bloom itself and the flower buds so i'm just going to chop this off but too bad because look how pretty this is my goodness i think this is like one of my prettiest orchid it's so simple and but nothing i can do luckily i have a new spike coming out here so i still have that one to look forward to but since it is going through repot it might be good for the plant to just focus on adopting a new environment and also it's gonna feel good not to fight the mealy bugs okay Okay, that gorgeous flower is gone. So sad. But now I can see the... Sometimes I don't know why, like if the flower is so beautiful, I almost just don't see the, the, the plant itself. And I can't re even remember what the plant looked like. But once the bloom is gone, then I can really focus. So yeah, I mean, it's overall a pretty healthy plant. Okay guys, so I finally got this orchid repotted. Um, I apologize, I'm terrible at documenting, documenting the process, but I am just going to talk about what I did to repot this orchid. So my repotting process takes almost a week um, because when I remove all the old medium, um, I first what I do is I clean the roots um, because this one had a little bit of rot issue, what I did was I dunked the entire plant um, into um, a bucket of 
um, 5 and 20 solution. So I soak it in there for about 5 to 10 minutes and then I take the plant out and just let it air dry for a few days. Now, um, I find drying the roots out before potting in new medium seem to help it to adjust better than um, you know having the roots soaking wet. Um, for some reason, I actually don't think the orchid like a like super wet environment, like a damp environment would be good, but definitely not soaking wet. So um, that's just mm, what I think, but let me know if you think what I'm doing is not correct because guys, I'm like a super, super beginner. So I am definitely learning as I go. And um, so after the roots all turn kind of silvery, um, that's when I pot it. So I just pot this today. Uh, the potting medium uh, this orchid had was sphagnum moss. And I, for this mix, I used um, orchiata bark, um, lots of orchiata bark, and uh, New, Zealand, New Zealand sphagnum moss. And also what I like to use is charcoal. So um, there are small pieces of charcoal in here. I, I dropped quite a lot in here because I heard that charcoal is going to help uh, prevent a lot of the um, issues. Um, so, so I like to use um, charcoal bits in here and I also drizzled some perlite. I wish I had the bigger chunks of perlite, but the last two bags I bought, they all came out at least tiny little um, size, um, grainy size. So, but these will kind of, as I water them over time, I think they might just get mixed in to the medium a little deeper down. So um, let's take a look at the area that was, by the way, this is a giant, giant kiki, basil kiki. And I asked people, what I should do about this basil kiki and I was told to just leave it alone. I have itchy fingers. I'm like so tempted to just w wiggle this out and pot it alone. But as you can see, it doesn't really have any root like right here. That's a root coming out from the basil kiki. But other than that, it's it doesn't have a whole lot of root to support this, um, this baby. So right now I'm just going to leave it alone. However, because I had some problem at the base, um, I don't know if I could turn around. So I use a little bit of cinnamon powder paste. So I make the cinnamon powder paste with olive oil. And this is this is what I used. I originally bought this as uh, spice, but I've been using them on my orchid. So this is just a dab of olive oil. I don't know if I saw this somewhere or just invented this in my head. I can't remember, or this could be a very wrong formula. So guys, don't don't copy me. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. So I may have used a little too much paste. Uh, I mean, cinnamon powder. Um, okay, so I had to go and add some more olive oil to this mix because I poured too much powder um, in the olive oil. I, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I hope this is right, but I wanted to um, help the powder to stay in place so it doesn't go over the place so you can see right here like that's a little bit of rot right here right at this point so i think i'm just gonna dab a little bit of cinnamon powder and see that if that would help the orchid um It's kind of difficult to do this um, while filming, but hopefully it comes through. And 
right here that's a new root that's a new root that's a new root in the back right here and this is a new spike so a lot of things going on here and look at this i mean this is you know these black area i'm not super crazy about it but okay i think i don't need to do anything about this mm, that's fine okay so so yeah i i applied these paste all over the place at area that seemed to be um rotting and let me see if i can turn this around and find that old spot So that's just cinnamon paste that I applied. I may have overdone it, but we'll see. I guess if the orchid dies and we know I've made a mistake. <laughs> but so far, okay, so this leaf seemed to be on its last leg. It's already kind of detached here. And it's got something funky going on underneath the leaf. But it's an old leaf, so a new one's coming out. It's looking pretty good. And yeah, I believe this was the area that I previously had some rot issue going on. So um, I also applied cinnamon paste to that area as well. So I think the orchid is gonna feel better now. I also um, potted the medium lower. It was kind of up here. So now I potted this lower, um, so the damage area would have plenty of air movement. And the medium actually smells pretty good because I accidentally dropped some cinnamon powder in there. I didn't mean to, but it smells amazing. It smells like cinnamon. Okay, so now this plant is thoroughly cleaned. I've been rubbing and cleaning the leaf with um, neem oil. And it's looking pretty good. What do you think, guys? I'm pretty happy with this ray pot. We'll see how it adjusts in a couple of weeks. But because it's spring and I'm seeing new growth, new leaf, new roots coming out, um, I figured this is the perfect timing to ray pot this orchid. This is a gorgeous orchid. And another thing is I've been really good about not losing the tag this time. I've lost so many tags while I'm ray potting. Like I would drop it somewhere and then totally forget about it. And the next thing I know, there's nowhere to be found. So I am really happy that I've been pretty good that I didn't lose this tag. Okay, so that's the ray pot. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope it wasn't too boring. Uh, staring into the root ball for 10 minutes straight but that's basically my process to repot this orchid that had a little bit of uh, mealybug issue and a little bit of rot, uh, root, rotting roots so um, I like to um, set up this orchid for success so hopefully at this point um, it's going to adapt uh, to the new potting medium and uh, hopefully we'll see some more growth in the coming uh, months. Uh, uh, once this, uh, this pot medium dries up again, I think at the next watering, I'm going to try to use a little bit of CV extract to um, further help the root growth. So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys.